isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say my collection's complete? I've got who's it's and do's it's and forks. <laughs> They're forks, Ariel. You've just hoarded them and collected them in a pile at your feet, and I really don't know how the hell you still don't know that. Ooh, Belle, why can't you ever be nice? Anyone would think that you were the wolf. Shut up, it, gosh, right? It was a beast, not a wolf, and as I recall, there were seven dwarves, and you shagged them all. <laughs> right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Disney Princess Trauma Su Survivor Support Group. <laughs> uh, Ariel, you are not that dumb, and Belle, you're not that tough. So no, you are a homicidal nymphomaniac, but we all deserve love, so perhaps you'd like to go first. Uh, it was self-defense, for a start. My predictable, I know, wicked stepmother hired this woodsman to take my heart. Um, well, first he proved himself to be an inept lover, um, and then later on a poor shot with a bow, so I uh, did him in with a rock. <laughs> and then I was alone and it was dark, and I met these seven short men who took me in, got me drunk, touched me up. And then they started giving me all this chat about how we should just be friends. So I must have been in shock because uh, when uh, they all passed out in bed, I carefully picked up a hammer and smashed in their heads. <laughs> I mean, I'd do it again. I mean, I barely remember a thing. Uh, okay, thanks, that was very honest. Uh, but perhaps we should hear from someone new. How about you, what's your name? Oh, what? Oh, well, it's Aurora at first, and then uh, later on, Rose, the fairies Flora and Fauna changed it to protect me from my wicked stepmother's curse. So call me whatever you want, I suppose. Uh, so what is your actual name then, or are you just Popper Loopy? Um, well, actually, most people know me as Sleeping Beauty. Um, we were supposed to live happily ever after. Um, he saved me, woke me from a century long coma. Um, he was handsome and he was rich. He was a little bit weird and a bit of a loner. Um, and the thing is, after that, every time I tried to go to sleep, I'd feel his boner in my back. <laughs> and I haven't slept for weeks. I don't know why I'm saying that so sadly. He sounds fit. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I take your situation over mine <laughs> gladly. I was held captive by this hairy despot with claws like knives and breath like rot, and he kept me drugged up in his castle, so fucked up I was, I just kept seeing this singing French candle. This <laughs> <laughs> talking teapot and a tiny cup and a chin. <laughs> so you trying to tell me that a well meaning kiss from a, a a good morning kiss from a well-meaning prince was anything like as fucked up as this. <laughs> Thanks, Belle. Well, we know the road to recovery comes with admission, but please do try to remember it's not a competition. Um, a uh, Ariel. Uh, Ariel? Yeah. <laughs> please, we've talked about this, combing your hair is rude. And Ariel? Yes. <laughs> We've talked about how your clothes need to be made of fabric, not seashells. Would you like me to sing a song? <laughs> King Triton says I have the most beautiful voice. Uh, like we have a choice to talk about daddy issues. <laughs> oh, now she's crying. Someone pass her a tissue. Ariel, you are a compulsive liar. If you're supposed to be a mermaid from under the sea, then why have you got two legs instead of a tail? Was it the evil sea witch who magicked you up to shore so you could meet your prince? You're a complete fantasist, you dumb fish. <laughs> no! Sebastian and Flounder were there as well, and they, they kept telling him that he should just crack on and kiss the girl. <laughs> Admit it, Ariel. You made the whole thing up just to protect your rapist. You are as pathetic as the rest of us, except for some reason, also racist. <laughs> no! Don't say that! Don't say that! I'll, I'll call upon the powers of Ursula and Grayskull! Take that! <laughs> uh, 
yeah, yeah, one of those things is the bad guy from He-Man, you twat. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you better watch out, I've had enough of your oceanic chit-chat, and I'm going to come at you so fast in the night, you won't see me. And I'm going to cut off your tail and turn it into sashimi. Ah! <laughs> Stop putting my hair! Release the Kraken! <laughs> just so sleepy. None of you know what it's like to be the victim of nocturnal perversions. I just want to go to sleep. Come on you pussies, it's not like I bite. Let's all have a fight, 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 fight. And then all of a sudden, everything stops. And five bruised, Disney brown, bland, beautiful faces look up. There's two six-foot hairy fairy godmothers stride in. Four of the princesses sit back and practice compliance, <laughs> apart from Sleeping Beauty, who continues to cry loud, wet, hot tears of angry defiance. And the others say, stop, stop, no, don't. Look, she's new. She doesn't know the rules. And then they sit back, and they give up, and they shut up. A sleeping beauty is led off in silence. <laughs> <laughs>